Halloween is upon us, monster kids, so I'd like to start this video by wishing you all a fun, safe, and spooky Halloween season. I would like to give a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters, who help me finance my art and also cast their votes on which characters I draw in these videos. If you'd like to join in the tricks and treats, please visit the Patreon link below this video player. The Horror Host is one of the most beloved traditions to monster kids for many, many years now. Our grandpappies loved them on the old radio with hosts like Raymond from Inner Sanctum and the Witch from The Witch's Tale. Us bratty kids loved them in comic books told by the likes of the Crypt Keeper, the Vault Keeper, the Old Witch, Uncle Creepy, Cousin Eerie, Vampirella, and so many others. And of course, we all loved them on television. From Elvira, to Goulardi, to Zvenguli, to Joe Bob Briggs, or any of the great many local hosts that made every town's monster kids feel special, it feels like everyone has a favorite horror host. Today I'm going to pay tribute to one of the very best, and easily one of the most successful and influential horror hosts, Zachary. John Zachary was the host of Shock Theater, which was a repackaging of horror, crime, and mystery movies from the 1930s and 40s that started airing on television in the late 1950s. At first he went by the name Roland, and was basically replaying an Undertaker character from a television western. He later simply went by Zachary, with a Y at the end. Zachary was not the first television horror host, I think that honor actually belongs to Mela Nermi and her immortal character Vampyra, but he was the first to become a humongous success in setting the formula by which numerous other horror hosts began to pattern themselves after. What made Zachary so appealing to viewers, I think, was just how much fun he was having. At first his character was a bit more like Vampyra or the old radio show Mystery Hosts. Very grim, very low-spoken, with a sense of gallows humor that was funny for sure, but funny in the sense of, if you get killed tonight I'm going to be laughing at your funeral tomorrow kind of way. You know, the joke's on us mortals. Gradually though, Zack began to lighten up and then went flat out crazy, laughing like a lunatic at the movies or his own bizarre antics and raising the energy of the show. I think he's at his most hyperactive and hilarious in the novelty records that came out following his success, such as Dinner with Drac and other songs. It's not surprising in the least that kids would love the guy, since it looked like he was enjoying himself to death. Zack also made the movies he showed more fun for kids when he started doing little editing pranks like inserting himself into the film or clowning around in cutaways while the movie was still playing. This might seem disrespectful to the movies at first, but... Oh, screw it, it was all in good fun. If you're a big fan of Mystery Science Theater 3000 like myself, you can almost see Zachary as the first step towards that tradition of movie riffing. There's no doubt about it, he was a ton of fun, and that's probably the secret to his success. To this day, horror hosts are everywhere thanks to the internet, and you can still see a lot of Zachary's influence on numerous contemporary hosts. I'm not saying they're all like him, no, there's a lot of great ones who found their own identities and broke the old molds, absolutely, but he's still with them in spirit, I think. Finally, on a personal note, Zachary was also a huge influence on myself. No, I'm not currently a horror host, but I did create one, so to speak. I was inspired by my love of horror to create, write, and draw a horror and humor comic called The Scarecrow Spook Show, starring the retired and slightly crazy horror host Baron De Monte, aka The Baron. This book had a long and difficult history of being rejected by syndicates and publishers, but was finally self-published this year. In the end, I simply did it because I loved it and was having so much fun with creating this character. The Baron was influenced by a lot of horror icons like Vincent Price, Alice Cooper, and many others, but the biggest influence was, you guessed it, Zachary. Why else did I make a comic about a horror host instead of a movie actor or a rock star or ugh, a comic book artist? I think it was all because of the cool ghoul himself, John Zachary, and all of the horror hosts across the airwaves and the internet who continue his proud tradition. I close now by saying to my fellow monster kids, Happy Halloween and good night, whatever you are! <laughs>